Yes, uh, when we are coming to history and physical examination for a uh, sepsis, pa sepsis patient, uh, we are looking for a source of uh, infection. Uh, we uh, inspect the skin. We are looking for surgical wound infection. If is it um, a warm or uh, edema or there is um, a drainage discharge uh, we are looking for uh, uh, IV lines that may be the source of infection like central lines IVs we are looking for Foley's catheters that may be uh, the evidence of uh, infection in it another thing to looking for is signs of end organ damage uh, like uh, acute kidney injury or uh, uh, pulmonary failure or another uh, we looking for creatinine is it elevated or not we are looking for BUN we are looking for urn out but if, is it uh, decreased we are looking for mental status changes and we are looking for uh, decreased platelet or uh, decreased oxygen saturations or elevated bilirubin uh, all of it may be signs of end organ damage another thing to looking for is skin uh, because of uh, sepsis uh, maybe um, that lead to septic shock the skin in septic shock is warm and flushed at the opposite of uh, another other types of shock uh, which uh, will be cold uh, because uh, the skin uh, in the septic shock um, is warm it be a specific sign for septic shock uh, another thing to uh, uh, to looking for is signs of septic encephalopathy like uh, disorientation, uh, lethargy, confusion, anxiety, uh, or uh, uh, another uh, signs of um, neurologic uh, symptoms. Uh, the last thing uh, to looking for is temperature um, a, a fever or high grade fever is uh, very common in sepsis patients but it's not a must in sepsis patients that means there is uh, some groups of patients uh, who uh, present with uh, without uh, fever uh, this group include um, uh, dialysis dependent uh, renal failure patients, uh, immunocompromised uh, patients, uh, very young and very old age patients.